Krabby Bill here. On my way to Krabby's Mountain Spot. Friday night. Me and nobody. Krabby staying home in Philadelphia with the uh, new addition to our family. We uh, adopted Rosie, a little chihuahua puppy. And was supposed to have my nephew Wes come up here with me this weekend, but he ended up with a work issue, so he has to work tomorrow. So, flying solo. Going to go up there. Uh, really not going to get a chance to get up here again until the end of August. So I wanted to come up this weekend and uh, cut the grass. Always exciting doing that. And uh, a couple years ago, a friend of mine, good friend of mine, John Ash, gave me a uh, utility trailer. And I keep a lot of tools in it, plywood and some two-by-fours and extra lumber and stuff that, that I have there. But the, uh, the top's starting to get some rust on it. So I'm thinking about building a shelter for it, and just look like a little carport uh, off the back of the shed. And uh, I think I'm going to start that. I'm going to try to finish it too this weekend, but it's unlikely. I don't want to have to drive to uh, to Home Depot, uh, but I may end up having to do that to uh, just so I can finish it off. But we'll see what happens. At this point here, just went through the tunnel, and uh, of course. And for Antonio's to pick me up a pizza. But uh, I'll check back with you. Krabby Bill here. Sitting here at Krabby's Mountain Spot. Just had uh, some Antonio's pizza. And I'm sitting here watching Animal House. Uh, just check the uh, weather station and the rain total for this year so far is 27.38 inches of rain so far this year so I'm sitting here having a couple of beers and I'm trying out my new beer cooler beer bottle cooler it is the uh, As Asobu beer cooler picked it up at amazon so far so good um i guess it seems to work as well as the uh, yeti and the uh, walmart brand uh beer coolers for the cans and this one is a combination bottle and can cooler so um so far so good i thought when i was purchasing it and i have to go back online to look i thought when i was purchasing it, it said that you got two for $29 and uh, I placed the order and when it came in there was only one so I had to go on there and check to see if uh, I was shorted or did I just read it wrong but uh, so far you know, it's keeping my beer cold and uh, sitting here watching Animal House I'll check back with you tomorrow morning Krabby Bill here Krabby's Mountain Spot Beautiful Saturday morning, just out here uh, enjoying a cup of coffee. Just uh, went out and pulled all the uh, trail camera cards and, of course, dropped the micro card again. So that's two that I've lost in the same spot. I'm going to have to get over there with a weed whacker and uh, clear that area there and see if I could find it. It's a great little camera. Uh, I'm not sure what brand it is. I'll have to go over there and see what it is. But I uh, saw it on another YouTuber's channel and ordered it, not realizing it had a micro card. And uh, I've lost two cards so far trying to uh, put them in the camera. But the photos that I do get are absolutely beautiful. So, that being said, out here drinking my coffee. Uh, just editing some video in there of our new puppy, Rosie, at uh, SPCA Rescue that we picked up this week. little chihuahua. Add that to our Irish Wolfhound, Welsh Terrier, and Chihuahua now. So, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I'll check back. Alright, so I'm inside now. As I said yesterday when I was driving down, I was going to cut the grass. 
and I wasn't going to videotape it because, quite frankly, how many times do you need to see me cut the grass? Well, I should have been filming it today because when I went over to get rid of the dead butterfly bush because it got choked out by some crazy looking weed, I took the weed whacker with me and I hit it with the weed whacker first and a swarm of bees came out. So, since I really don't see all that well, I'm looking and I'm saying, hmm, what the hell are they? And then I found out as they started stinging my leg. I have at least five or six on my leg. I think one or two on my back and one on the cheek of my butt. It hurts. Fortunately, I'm not allergic. I should have been filming. That would have been funny to see. Almost as funny as when I lit myself on fire. What's up? Man, I'm roasting. Just gonna sit here and join a cold beer with my uh, Subu beer holder. Just uh, currently drinking a uh, perpetual Trogues Perpetual IPA. I got uh, a bunch of cans in there that my son gave me of a uh, pretty good assortment of beer. Uh, I want to have them in a few minutes, but I uh, had a couple of these uh, trokes in there, so I wanted to get rid of them. I worked on the lights. I don't know if they're going to work at all now. The tree branch fell and uh, hit the cord and split the light, uh, split the wires. I couldn't get them to work, so I tried to rig something up over here, but I don't know if it's going to work. It doesn't look like they're working at all now. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy a couple beers. Waiting to hear from Krabby, see how the new puppy's making out. I actually had a couple of visitors today, so I really didn't get a whole lot of stuff done. I worked on the grass, I worked on the lights. I left the ladder out so that in the morning I'm going to run over to uh, Home Depot in Wilkesboro and uh, buy some different lights if they don't work tonight. So, we'll see what happens. Do some beer tasting in a little while. i got the camera in there charging up. And, uh, We'll see how this goes. Cheers. Well, still sitting here enjoying the tropes. I think this will be the, well, I think there might be one left. So I'm going to sit here, finish this one up. It's a, just like the uh, beer coolers, it's hard to tell when they're empty because there's so much weight here, but it does keep it ice cold. Yeah, it's cold to the last sip, so that one's empty now. But just started a fire, smoked some of these mosquitoes out of here, but uh, hopefully the wood was dry enough to uh, sit here and enjoy this. Eventually go and get a shower, and then I'll start doing some beer tasting uh, for those beers that my son left me. Uh, as usual, the, uh, the Trobes Perpetual IPA is really good. Uh, I think the beers that my son left me are a little bit stronger, or, or probably around the same. I think the Trobes is a 7.5. So, let's see what happens. But I'm going to sit here, kick back, let the smoke uh, get rid of some of these mosquitoes. Wait to see if the lights are going to work. I'm doubtful, but uh, hopefully I won't hear no noises in the woods. It's going to want to cause me to uh, to run inside uh, since there's no light out here to see what's going on. But I'm just going to sit here and enjoy it. Got to go in and get me another tropes. All right, so while I'm sitting here thinking about separating. YouTube channel. I'm thinking to just have one for Krabby's Bar, which would be the dogs and down in North Wildwood, and then one for Krabby's Mountain Spot, which would stay Krabby Bill. So I'm 
not exactly sure if you could do that, but I'm thinking that because everything I see says you should have a focus on your on your videos. You're not going to get subscribers unless you have a specific thing that you that you focus on. So I think I'm all over the place between hunting and hiking. Not really that much hiking, but a little bit of hiking, uh, and then time spent down the shore. And this week I have uh, the new dog that I already made a, a video of, and then I have this video now that I'm working on for beer tasting and cooking up here. And although I didn't show you any cooking earlier because the cameras weren't charged, I, uh, I didn't have time, and then I forgot to do it during the night last night. Uh, watching Animal House and having a couple of beers. And I was pretty tired because I had only had two hours sleep the night before from work. So I, uh, I forgot to uh, charge them cameras up. So if you see something, uh, Krabby's Bar versus Krabby Bill, please subscribe to both. Uh, I, uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to separate the channel. Well, see what happens. Cheers. All right. So let the beer taste and begin. The first one up is a uh, New Belgium Juicifer IPA. It's a 7.7. .7. Well, my son's trying to do it to me. But it's a Voodoo Ranger. Voodoo Ranger, Jucifer. No, uh, no witty little sayings on the sides. Employee owned. Gotta like that. It's uh, India Pale Ale. So let's, uh, let's give it a shot here in my little Walmart beer cooler. I love saying that. Six dollars and forty-seven cents, as opposed to the uh, Yeti. Twenty-five hour beer cool. So I just had a. I guess I had three or so um, troves perpetual IPAs before this. So let's see what happens here. Really taste the uh, citrus. It's a strong grapefruit taste. We'll see what happens here. And, uh, one or two of each, and we'll see how the night goes. Uh, this video is liable to get pretty funny before the night's over. Uh, if it's just me stumbling over my words and my own feet while I'm sitting here enjoying the fire. Well, I can tell you, not bad, the, uh, the new Belgium, not bad at all, um, had a weird, not what I'm used to, grapefruit taste, I guess it's uh, the hops in it, uh, and I got a whole bunch of stuff in my hair, walking around in the woods there, but uh, not bad. I mean, I don't mind drinking a couple of them. I don't know. Obviously, you can't drink them all day. But uh, not bad. Let's see what's next. Again, it's the um, Jucifer IPA from New Belgium. It's a 7.7. .7. I like the idea that it's uh, employee owned. So I may have to uh, see what else they have and pick some of them up. But uh, I'll sit here and I'll drink these. No problem.
Okay, so I'm back. Alright. This one here. I think he's trying to kill me, by the way. This one here. Dead Guy Ale. Rogue. Gratefully dedicated to the rogue in each of us. Dead Guy Ale is a Maibach style ale with a robust malt profile and a sweetness that is balanced by the liberal use of bittering hops. Dark Risk Dream. It's a 6.8. Well, smoke's got me at this moment. Brewed and canned by Rogue Ales, Newport, Oregon. Established 1988. I don't know, I think he's trying to kill me. The last two weren't bad. Let's see what happens here. I don't know. It's kind of got a little, um, a little bit of an aftertaste. Yeah, I'm not sure on this one. Don't get me wrong. I would have drank them. But, I don't know, I don't like that after aftertaste. See what happens. See if I get used to it. We'll see. I really hope you can hear what I'm saying. Because it's going to get interesting. These beers that he drinks, he being my son, who never drank before, just started, he's 25 years old, just started drinking now, and he's drinking these. I'm still drinking the, um, Dead Guy Ale Road. I grew up drinking Miller Lite or Miller and then switched to Miller Lite. And just recently started drinking the craft beers. Uh, this one's a 6.8 again. I'm going to drink them uh, because I'm a slob. But, uh, they're strong. This one here, I'm not. I'm not so fond of. The last one was pretty good. Uh, I could drink. I drank a couple of them. This one here, I, I can't. I'll. I'll drink the. You know, a couple, but uh, I couldn't spend the night drinking them. It has like kind of a uh, aftertaste. It's. It's not horrible. I. You know, if that was the only game in town, I would do it. But uh, at this point here. I'm glad there's other beers in there. So I'm gonna sit here and uh, I'll drink this one now. If I drink the other one, I'll drink this one. And then I think it's gonna be shower time and take a little break for a couple of minutes. Because I'm not used to these uh, seven and a halfs and sevens and eights. And as I said, I grew up drinking Miller Lite and uh, just recently started drinking. The, uh, craft beer, so we'll see what happens. It may get interesting. Oh. Well, I just had a shower. And I'm getting ready to start the stone 
Revengeful Spirit IPA. It's at 8.1. I swear he's trying to kill me. Well, at least it has something written on the back. Like, Revengeful Best... Uh, okay, let me start over. Like, Revenge Best Served Cold. In the late summer of 2017, we debuted the limited-release Stone Vengeful Spirit IPA, a tropical IPA brewed with pineapple and mandarin orange, adorned with a tiki-fied version of our iconic gargoyle. Its purpose was to demonstrate the gloriousness of the right combinations of whole fruit additions to our IPA. It did so with a vengeance. Knowing this particular vengeful spirit wouldn't be appeased with a simple re-release, we tasked ourselves with creating an even bigger and more aggressive version of the beer. Packing it with extra mosaic, laurel, and mandarin Bavaria hops. Alongside real citrus and tropical fruit, the result is Stone Revengeful Spirit. Imperial IPA, a beer like revenge itself, best served cold. Well, I got to tell you, when we first bought this place up here, I was a Miller Lite drinker. I drank Miller Lite all the time. I'd go out with the guys at work. We'd go to some some brewery, and they would have to pick a beer that was the closest thing to Miller Lite for me to drink, and I never really enjoyed it. But then one weekend I came up with our nephew Austin, and he bought me a, a, a case of Stone Go-To IPA, or Stone Go-To. Delicious. And that was the start of it. So, I'm looking forward to this. It's an 8.1, not real happy about that, but... I'm going to try it. The last one, uh, I, I, I couldn't do. The first one, okay. The last one, not so good. Here we are. What's next? What's next? Well, we got a uh, Heller High Watermelon. 21st Amendment Brewery. It's a 4.9. And the IBU is 17, which is the bitterness, which is really low. Uh, looking for some witty comments on it. Not saying it. It's a seasonal release. It's a wheat beer. Brewed with watermelons. Well, we'll see what happens here. I just looked while I was in there. The last couple that he has for me are... Uh, Lagers, which, as I've told you before, I like when uh, it's cold out. So, hopefully later, it'll get cold out. Uh, or I'll have them with, uh, I have a couple of steaks in there for dinner tonight. Crabby, uh, Crabby gave me a couple of uh, small ribeyes and um, baked potato and salad onion and all kinds of stuff in there for uh, for dinner. Um, I won't be eating that until about 9 o'clock or so, which uh, I guess now it's probably uh, I don't know, 7, 7.30 or, or so. Um, I called the neighbors so I could walk up there to take a break a little bit from drinking. Uh, so I go up and meet Ray and his uh, wife. I met Ray earlier today. He came here for a little bit. And I wanted to walk up to uh, meet his wife. 
but uh, apparently they're out. So, uh, I'm just going to keep drinking. We'll see what happens. But, about 9 o'clock or so, I'm going to throw a steak on the grill. And uh, hopefully, uh, I'll be able to uh, make it a little bit later tonight. Not sure. I guess I'm so so used to the grapefruit taste on the IPAs that the uh, the watermelon taste just kind of uh, kind of weird for a moment. Twenty First Amendment Brewery. Uh, it's like some place in New York, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Not bad. I mean, it's. Uh, I'm, I'm just so used to the hoppiness of the uh, grapefruit taste, which I really, really like. I really, really like. See what happens. A couple of these, I'll check back with you.
Well, let me tell you. Those beers that my son packed are strong. <laughs>